Hello everyone, and welcome to Meadow, the brand new, absolutely gorgeous exploration game brought to us by Might and Delight, the same company who made Shelter, Shelter 2, and Shelter 2 Paws. It is just released less than 10 minutes ago, so we're going to dive in and see what Meadow has to offer, but unlike the previous games from Might and Delight, there is no set plot in Meadow. It is completely a game made and meant for exploration so you can dive in and play as one of so many different creatures that they will be continually adding to into the world and exploring. And I'm really excited to jump on in. I have no idea what to really expect. I have hardly looked at anything because I wanted it to be fresh and new. So let's go ahead and it looks like we can jump in and enter the world as a badger cub. I'm not sure. Yeah, no nothing else. Nothing else to pick from just yet. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to go ahead and just enter the world. Here we go, you guys. <laughs> that they have created. They have been so amazingly gorgeous. <gasps> and this one is definitely included in that. Oh my gosh, little one. <gasps> Look, we're a little badger cub. We're so cute. We're so cute. Oh, I can make little crying sounds. Oh my gosh. And let's see, I can laugh. Is this to wave? Hello, little guy. Can you wave at everybody? All right, so those are the little the ways you communicate. <gasps> Is this a flower? I want to get this flower. Oh gosh, I'm so cute. I don't move very quickly. I just kind of waddle around the place. <gasps> I got a flower! Okay, so that gave me some essence. I have no idea what essence does. But yes, so the entire point of this game is just to be able to explore and indulge in the beautiful world that they have created. Is that another flower? Who knows? And you get to unlock a different animals. If you have the various shelter games, you unlock a whole bunch of the different ones to play as. And they will be adding new content in constantly. It's very cheap. It's only $2.99. So I think they're still in the early stages probably of adding in a whole bunch. <gasps> There's another flower! Yay! In the early stages of adding in a whole bunch of the big details to what Meadow has to offer. Yay! I got more essence. And I have no idea what essence is going to do. What is this? <gasps> Did I just... I made a little cloud! I didn't know I could make a little cloud. Look at me. Am I like a little fire setting off beaver? Or beaver? What the heck, a badger? Let's see, what does this do? Oh, I'm snoozing. Oh my gosh. But yes, this is really meant from what I've been led to understand to be a relaxing, immersive exploration game. So I'm not sure how to change into the various creatures, different emotes, different animals. I guess you have to unlock the various animals. There's different skins. There are no other animals around. It is a multiplayer game, so you actually play with other people too. Because it literally just came out, I'm not surprised not to see too many other people. I think those are the emotes, so you can kind of like call and, and point and signal to everybody. Interesting, interesting. Question marks, exclamation points, and then you just wander around. So you just wander around and you're looking for, for other people to enjoy this world with. This is very pretty. I have no idea how to find anything either. Oh, I can jump! Oh gosh, that startled me. That was so cute. So I have no idea how to find other people, but we may try to jump onto one of the other groves. Each server is called a grove. There we go. Up I go. Up I go as a little badger. There we go. Okay, keep going. There we go. Wow, it's so cute here. I really want to find some other people now and see what we can find. There's supposed to be different things you can collect. It's really a collecting and exploring game. I wonder how you see what kind of collections you have. Character options. So I think you get to find new skins for the badger cub. And then what else is there? Back to the tree, back to den. And then there's just one animal in the grove. That is us. So let's see. Wow. <gasps> wow. Look how beautiful that is. There has to be something good down there. I wish I could run a little faster, but I'm just a little baby badger. I'm just a badger cub. What do I know? We've already found a couple essences too. So I wonder, should we look around for some more essence? Should we see if we can run into a bunch of other badger cubs if we go to another grove? I'm pretty curious. Oh, this is so pretty. I want to go to the giant tree. Look at it. 
It's so gorgeous. Let's walk over to the giant tree and see if we can find any other essence pieces. Maybe you can set your den. Oh, look, there's a flower. There's a flower. Eh. Oh, oh, there we go. I can sprint. Okay, that's much better. I thought for sure there had to be a faster way to explore. And sure enough, look at this beautiful bloom. Oh, there you go, little badger. I think I saw another one over here. Oh, this is so pretty. Yeah, right over here. All right, let's grab it. There we go. So now we have 20 essence. Oh, and I can bark. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. 20 essence, I think... Is this like, oh, I just set a fire. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can someone fix it? Will it go away? <laughs> can I blow it out? What do I do? What do I do here? Can I make it rain? Well, this is this making it worse or is this making it better? Okay, there we go. I think I, I think I, I made the fire go away. Okay, let's not start fires as a baby badger. That's not what I want to do. <laughs> I don't think that would end very well. Oh my goodness. And there's other, oh, look, there's another flower. Let's, oh, can you climb that tree? You guys, I think you can climb that tree. Oh my gosh. Let's run over to it and let's see if we can go up it. That's so pretty. But the only way to really communicate with everybody else in this world is to be able to use the different emotes like this. Does this let me change animals? Oh, I think it tells you like that you can change animals. There we go. But you communicate with these different emotes so that everybody knows how you are. And you can bark. Oh gosh, and look at this flower field. <gasps> this is so pretty. I want to get up on top of that tree. That looks like a gorgeous tree. And it really is just meant, like I keep saying, as a laid back relaxation game. So that happens to be one of my fortes. To hmm, relax and explore. I love exploring. Hmm, how do I get up this tree? I wonder, oh wow, I wonder if you have to be a bird. I think you can play as birds, and I wonder how you find, if you gather up enough essence maybe? I'm under the tree, you guys! This is amazing! Can I make this my den? I claim this entire tree in the name of the baby badger. Is there more essence to be collected? It's easier to see, oh gosh, I just disappeared into a bush there. It's easier to see the essence when I am up. Oh, here we go. I'm starting to find spots. I want to be able to climb. Aha! That's a slope. Can I get up this slope and then manage to wiggle up the tree? Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. let's see. Maybe I can because it kind of looks like you can climb the tree, doesn't it? Oh, <gasps> I'm climbing the tree in my very tiny little badger baby way. Up the tree, up the tree. I want to go up the tree. I don't think I can go that much. Oh, wait, here we go. Okay, I don't think this is a good idea anymore. Oh boy, I don't think badgers are meant to climb trees, but I really want to be up there. Oh, one day, little badger, one day. Oh, he's sliding down. He's so cute. <laughs> he's so cute. Oh, oh, there's more essence. Okay, let's go gather more essence. And then maybe as you play as the different creatures, you have different places to run into, perhaps? Like if you're a badger, remember how our badger in shelter, oh, there's another, another essence. Oh, what's this? That looks like a thing. That looks like a thing. Oh, there's a waterfall. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's run over here. That looks like it could potentially be something. And that is definitely a big, beautiful waterfall. So we need to check that out too. But I think we'll look around for other people. Oh, it, it faded away, but it was a thing. It was such a cool thing. I was so excited. It looked like it was like a bunch of arrows pointing you to somewhere. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's another little essence. Oh, another flower. Another flower. All right. Well, let's focus on gathering up some of these because maybe that'll help us out. So how much essence do we have now? We have 35 essence. This tree though, you guys, this is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so i think a big part of this is actually oh there's another essence is actually finding other players there's that oh there's another one right over there all right let's go grab it is actually finding other players so i think for today we'll go ahead <gasps> there's different achievements i got expiring florist oh i wonder if there's things other than flowers to collect i'm just so naturally drawn to flowers you don't have to you don't have to really convince me to go searching for flowers i will do so anyway but i wonder is this a sapling is this a little tree sapling can i eat it is it mine now 
What did I collect? How can I, can I look at what I collected? This is all very interesting. The, I see it, it's like, it's like a puzzle piece for the animals. And you can unlock different emotes. I wonder how. Do you have to find something? Maybe I should go and explore. A lot of shelter tends to be trying to figure out where to go on your own, and it really doesn't give you a lot of direction. Oh, oh gosh. Because you need to be willing to explore and take risks and search around. Oh gosh. Should I be, should I be concerned? Are those spooky noises? Or are those good noises? Oh, what's this? It looks like a big tree. Oh, and it's a big rock. Okay, well, we'll head to the waterfall first. And then, oh, there's a whole bunch of waterfalls. What is this? Oh, look, and it's another plant. All right, let's grab this too. What is this? This waterfall is so much further away than I thought. This is amazing. So I think what we'll do next time is we'll definitely have to go to, oh, look, there's another, there's another tree. Let's go gather up that tree. How big is this waterfall? I'm a little intimidated by it the closer we get to it. I'm not sure I understand it. Oh, that's so cute. All right, we got that tree. You guys, I don't, I don't think this is supposed to be the way the waterfall works. I'm pretty sure we have found the falls to end all falls and I don't want to fall down there. So let's turn around and we'll go around to the top of the waterfall. And then next time we'll try looking for a few of the other creatures and maybe following them around or just searching for them in this big world. Oh, is that something over there? Oh, what's this? What's this over here? Oh, it's so pretty. Just a tree, just a tree in the end. I'm so curious. <laughs> it's just like all of the other shelter games where you just kind of have to dive in and really, really, really hope you'll be able to figure out what you're supposed to do. So for now, what is this? This looks yummy. This almost looks like a vegetable. Hmm, I'm gonna eat it. All right, it's mine. I'm gonna be a very healthy badger cub by the time I eat all these things. Whoa! Even if I tumble off of cliffs, it seems. So let's see. Big, beautiful world. And waterfalls. I wonder. I think I need to find some companions. Maybe I can find, I can find my set. I can find siblings. So I think we should try, we'll go to a grove that will have people in it if there's other people on right now and we'll see if we can find them and we'll see if anybody knows or anybody can lead the way to a big treasure because i guess this would be like when you're communicating as animals you don't have words you just kind of have barks and you have ways of being like we should climb this or oh what's this what's this oh <gasps> what's this i did find something you guys i found something <gasps> okay Oh, it's making, it's making like weird noise. It's making weird, important noise. I think I can trust my, my little badger, my little badger guts on this one. I'm pretty sure this is a good thing to find. All right, I'm going to come up. I'm going to poke it. I think I'm supposed to poke it. I hope I'm supposed to poke it. What does it do? Or do you need people? <gasps> do you need to find friends? And if you come with friends, because it's lit up with one because there's me... I get it. And so you need to find your, your family and you need to bring them with you. Ah, oh, I get it. I get it. Being all alone in the world, it isn't going to be a benefit to me to explore this all by myself. I need to find some of the other creatures. Okay, you guys. So that's what we're going to do. There's nobody in this world right now other than myself because it's so brand new, ironically. So I think what we're going to do is next time we will look for a world that has some of the other animals. We will try to find them and we will try to discover these, these mysterious runes that we will bring them to and then maybe we can unlock the bunny. So I'm very excited about that. And they are planning on updating uh, Meadow every Wednesday is what I heard. Their goal is to release development notes and potentially updates every Wednesday. So we'll have to remember to the right of the waterfall lies the rabbit rune. And we'll have to bring some people here if we can, if we can convince them, run around and try to convince them without words to come this way. Oh my gosh, there's puffball mushrooms! <gasps> Those are puffball mushrooms! I need to play in the puffball mushroom field. Oh my gosh, are they gonna pop like the ones in the old world did when you muck up to them? Are they gonna pop? You guys! I found the puffball mushroom field! Oh, it looks like I'm eating it! Oh, that's so cute! 
<laughs> oh, I'm very, very happy. Oh, and look, I think there's another rock down there. Okay, so next time we're gonna try to find some people to play with. We'll rush through the puffball fields and we'll have to see if we can convince people to come with us. There's another rock to visit all of the different rocks and do the exploring and unlock things because I think you need to have people with you. And we'll keep an eye out because like I said, every Wednesday, Meadow is supposedly going to have some developer note releases on Steam and maybe even some new new features that they'll be adding in to enjoy. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.